Welcome back. It may sound strange for me to be welcoming you to a class that in most cases you've been forced to attend, but the truth is you are welcome here. And I know that as you go through this process, you're going to have a wonderful opportunity to learn so much more about yourself. And for me, it changed the way I looked at things and allowed me to take back control of my life. The key was to see my anger as a personal experience that was based on the things that had happened to me in my past. I soon realized that if I wanted to get a grip on what was causing me so much pain, I had to start at the beginning. This is not about placing blame. It's about understanding what happened and how those things contributed to who I became. Although anger reactions are pretty standard, we either freak out or retreat, the reason behind those reactions are as personal as your fingerprints. Your journey over the next few months will be to take a look at the things that cause you to react. Notice yourself as you go into that reaction and then analyze the whole thing to get a better insight on how you could avoid it happening the next time. I talk with high school kids all the time and I ask them what they want to do when they graduate. And so many of them tell me they want to be in CSI or be a criminal psychologist. I ask them why and most of them say because they think it'd be cool to figure out who did it and how it was done. I know the real answer is because it's their favorite TV show, but what strikes me most is how they put so much energy into trying to figure out the motivations of others, and they spend so little time trying to figure out why they react the way they do. And that's the key. It's not about them. It's all about us and how we experience what happens to us. Take the next few minutes to talk with your team about a time you got angry and realize later that you'd been totally wrong about it. As always, you're going to learn more from each other than you are from me. Thanks, and remember, you always have choices.